يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وامنوا برسوله يؤتكم كفلين من رحمته اشهد ان لا الانبياء ثم الامثل في الامثل The Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the ones greatest in trial and tribulation with the biggest problems, you think you've got problems, <laughs> are the Anbiya alayhi salatu wasalam. Some of them were killed, and some of them, Abu Hassan Shadali's own sheikh was murdered. He was a Murabid, and the troops came and they uh, jumped him and they killed him. So he couldn't report back to them, to warn the people that they were invading. And so he's a shaheed, actually, I know. And uh, I know. Allah. And so the, the, the greatest in bala, the greatest in trial, and tribulations, are the anbiya. Bani Israel killed many of their, so many of their anbiya, the whistle that were sent to them and so forth. And so it wasn't a, uh, it wasn't, the, the dunya hasn't been a real good time <laughs> for most people, except the people that Allah hates. And so the people that Allah loves, they have their trials and their tribulations. Uh, uh, Abu Bakr Shibli used to say, he said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raising up his awliya, uh, they're his servants, is according to the level of their anxiety, troubledness, <laughs> anxiety level. فَلَوْ أَجْرَ عَلَى الْأَوْلِيَاءِ ذَرَّةً مِنْ مَا أَجْرَاهُ عَلَى الْأَنْبِيَاءِ لَدَّابُوا وَتَكَتَّعُوا He said, so if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala caused to reach the awliya, even a speck of what he has caused to, caused to reach the anbiya, alayhim salatu wa salam, they would have been dissolved and cut to be little bits, <laughs> the awliya. So you can't compare the, you know, look at Yaqub alayhi salatu was very, very difficult trial, and, or, or Yusuf alayhi salatu was salam. Or the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam, the Quran is just full of all of the people <laughs> that were you know, not the kind of people that you'd like to bring home for dinner <laughs> that the prophet had to deal with in his life. And he, he died of uh, poison from a Jew in Fiber, <laughs> the poison piece of, he said, I can still feel it in my throat. The prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And so they, everybody uh, has a, trial from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that's not the, the rough and the smooth is coming, it was, has been destined from beginnings to eternity. And so we have to have adab with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The awliya, one of them, I think perhaps Abdurrahman al Majdu, one of the Magariba, he said, uh, maybe it was a Ali al-Jaman or his sheikh, said uh, one of or the, uh, Bani Abdullah, the three sheikhs before Ali al-Jaman said uh, one of them anyway. He said, Man idda'a shuhud al-jama'a wa lam yata'addab bil-jala'a farfudhu fa'innahu dajjal. He said, whoever claims to have seen the beauty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself and hasn't been able to put up with the jala'a, <laughs> with his, with the different, you know, with the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creates to change people actually and turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to a greater degree. This is the wisdom of Allah. Then refuse him, he's not telling the truth. He's the jail of someone who always talks lies. Uh, 